Hooray! Hello! How you doing, my fine friends? Uh, welcome to another episode of Ali and Herring's Twitch of Fun. It's just me, though, this week. I've, um, I've managed to get rid of uh, Ali. It was sort of, I, I want this to be a serious uh, newspaper review show. Uh, just to show uh, the telly people that I can I can be serious. Um, I do have a just to help me out if I if I mess up. I do have a little uh, friend to help me out. It's not this guy. He's just there anyway. Uh, it's uh, look. It's my very first uh, puppet, and I've had many puppets in my career. This is um, Donkey. Here, here. Uh, he's that's all he says. He just uh, says. So this is Donkey and Herring's uh, Twitch of Fun this week. So I was reading the papers. <laughs> this week he's good. And uh, uh, yeah, and I, I noticed in the papers old um, Gislaine Maxwell. Yeah, old Gislaine, I call her. Uh, she's in trouble, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, so that'd be the sort of thing the the donkey can do. It's uh, this is the first puppet I ever had. The first time I ever got a laugh that I remember. Uh, I had more than one finger puppet. Uh, uh, this was one of them. This is the donkey one, but his ears have come off. Um, and uh, there was another one here, and I was behind the sofa. And my nanan, that's what I called my grandma. I don't there's nothing weird about it. And my mum, that's what I called my mother. There's nothing weird about that. Um, they, I was doing that, and they were really laughing. And um, that laughter, I loved the sound of that laughter, knowing I'd created it. In hindsight, I realised they were laughing at me for being a pathetic child. But I didn't realise that at the time, and it was what set me on my road to become the world's greatest puppeteer. I've been distracted, not always, I mean, I've done some puppeteering in my career, but I got distracted by comedy, podcasting, all sorts of stuff, twitching, stone clearing, playing snooker against myself, when all along... This is what I should have been doing with this, but with the donkey, not with Ali. Hee haw, hee haw. Um, so I just put him down there. He's put... Hee haw, shush, uh, um, uh, donkey. Uh, don hey, donkey, what are you doing? And that's my impression of uh, a Shrek. I've put a Shrek in it there. Uh, I've been drinking tonight <laughs> to help me get through this difficult second show. Uh, I've been drinking, what's this? I can't wait to show Ali what that is and see what he has to say about it. Mm. Although I've drunk it now, so I've drunk two of those, which should be enough just to get me yeah, get, get nicely in the mood. Um, so let's have a look and see what's been in the papers this week. This is from the Times newspaper. I printed it up like a, like a professional uh, broadcaster would. Oh, just that um, you may have seen this story today. Twitter, Twitter, Twitty, Twitter, I can't speak. Because I've been drinking. Uh, Twitter scammers made $110,000 uh, hacking Barack Obama and Elon Musk. I don't know if you saw this. So Twitter, people with blue ticks have been in trouble. So all that time not getting blue ticks. Um, that that's stood me in good stead. I could have been in trouble. So they sent out, someone hacked Twitter. Uh, and they had lots of people like Barack Obama saying, I'm giving back to my community due to COVID-19. All Bitcoin sent to my address below will be sent back doubled. If you send $1,000, I will send back $2,000. And then there's a link. Uh, only doing this for the next 30 minutes. Enjoy. Uh, and apparently people f fell for that. There was lots of different uh, accounts. Uh, and according to the Times, the Twitter scammers made $110,000 for that. So 110 people in the world fell for that. I'm just thinking that's not... I mean, it's not that much, is it, for a massive scam? Like, they could have probably got more if they got in touch with Twitter and said, we found a way of hacking your system. Do you want us to come and work for you? Or will you give us half a million dollars and we'll we'll tell you how it's done? But they got 110... That, it's nothing, isn't it? I mean, it's not not to be sneezed at, but 100... They tricked 110 people in the world. 110 greedy people thought, yeah, I'll put $1,000 in, get another $1,000. So that's that. Let me out the docks. I'm I'm trying to do a serious uh, podcast and tr Twitch stream here. Stop interrupting. Let me out the docks. I want to get out of the docks. You can't get out of the box. You've got to stay in the box. This is I'm a serious broadcaster now. Let me out the docks. I'm not going to shut up until you let me out the box. All right. You can come out of the box. Uh, and, and ladies and gentlemen, here he is. I know some of you have been waiting to see him. I'll move the computer over a bit because it's in the way. 
Uh, this is... Oh, blimey, both his eyes are... Oh, no, the one's open there. Uh, both, this Ali, my uh, ventriloquist dummy. Uh, he's my... That's right, they know who I am, Richard. They were listening last week and watching last week. Well, were they, Ali? I mean, I've got to reintroduce you in case this is how broadcasting... This is how broadcasting works, is it, Mr. Expert? Do you, do you know that broadcasting? I know a lot about broadcasting. Hey, broadcasting. That's how I, I said broadcasting. OK, I know a lot about broadcasting. I've been working in broadcasting for 30 years. Well, you got through that 10 years and then you didn't get any work. Shut up. Now you're sitting here in your attic with a fucking renter look as Dudney. Yeah, it's going well. Look, um, 282 people. Or 282 people that are watching. Yeah, that's incredible. I thought, like, they were tuning in last week just to see, you know, you crash and gurn. Me crash and... Me crash and gurn? No, crash and burn. Burn. A crash and burn. Yeah, yeah. That, but, but, uh, that, they, uh, that, oh, sorry, I nearly, I nearly interrupt you. I do apologise. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, amazed that people are back again. Well, it's very popular. It's all down to me. I'm the, I'm the good one in this. Well, we'll see. Let's see how good you look. I've just been uh, drinking. Would you see what I've been drinking? Yes, I can see. What is that? What's that there? I, I can see what that is. I don't need to... I don't need you to... I don't need to tell you what it is. You should tell me what it is. It's this Peroni I've been drinking. What is, what is it? That, Richard? Yes. Is a vessel of lager. You, oh, Ali, you got me. You got me again. So uh, it's great uh, to uh, be back uh, with uh, with Ali. Um, I'm very excited about this. I think there's uh, a lot of mileage. It's morph. That's an actual morph. What's that? It's like little, he can't sleep, can he? No, this is, what do you think about uh, doing a triple at you, me and Donkey? Donkey? What the fuck is Donkey? Well, he's quite an old puppet. Quite old. I'm the 128. I know you keep telling us. Look, he's, uh, he's about 50 years old. There you go. You could say something. You go, here. Yeah. And then, uh, then you know, I'll say something and you can go, oh, that's true. And then I'll go, oh, here. He'll go, here. I don't think it's going to go. Just, uh, there's no need to bring in a new character yet, Richard. It's you're just starting out. You don't need a new fucking character, right? The second episode. Okay. Sorry, Don oh, sorry, Donkey. Uh, I thought you'd be interested in the history of all my puppets. No one's interested in your fucking you. They're interested in me. I hope you're not going to get all arrogant in this episode. You know, the, what, it worked last week because you were charming and and self uh, self uh, defacing. Self defacing. Self um, effacing. Self effacing. You can't fucking speak. What's wrong with you? Self. You put yourself down. But say that. <sighs> You are so shit. So, uh, look, well, look, while we're uh, while we're here, there's a few things I should say. I talked to my uh, dad. Oh, to old Keith, Keith Herring, old Jeffrey's son. That's right, yeah, you remember them? Remember him? Yes, I worked with all the Herrings all through the generations. Thomas, Jeffrey, Keith, you, Richard Herring, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, apparently my great-grandfather, Thomas, uh, wasn't, he wasn't a Baptist. He wasn't a Baptist, pardon he wasn't a Daptist. No, he wasn't. A, he wasn't a Gaptist. No, a Gaftist. A Daptist. I'm saying Daptist. Daptist. What are you saying? Daptist. I'm really straining to listen to you. I'm going red in the face listening to you. Uh, Daptist. Oh, Baptist. No, he wasn't a Baptist. He was a Methodist. Well, why didn't you tell me that? You, you should know. You worked with him. Yes, he was a lovely guy. He was a. Me he was like not a pr like a proper. Uh, vicar or enough and he just helped him out when they were busy at the weekends uh he worked in the newspaper trade which might be why the insides of ali are made out of weird newspapers don't talk about that don't mention that again i'm just getting over the psychological damage of these parading my innards in front of the world um and uh yeah so that 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 news came through um and what else has been going on uh do you want to? Do you want to drink it? Do, do, can you drink? Beer? No, I'm drunk. I'm, I'm, well, I'm a little drunk. I'm a little drunk too, Richard. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of banter that they, they got away with in the Victorian uh, era. But uh, we we don't really um don't people don't really like the, that sort of puns. He says they don't like puns and then and then's hair flying up in the air. What's wrong with them? I I can't tell you what's wrong with the world, um, Ali. It's it's, it's a it's a sadder world. Than when you were in, when you were in your prime. Well, I'm still not trying. Pardon? 
I am still in my prime. Okay, you're still in your prime. Um, I want to talk to you. Uh, I'll t I should tell you, uh, everyone, that um, uh, my show, uh, my, my sitcom uh, Relativities on Radio 4 on uh, Friday at 11.30 a.m. on Radio 4. If you want to tune into that, you'll be able to uh, listen on uh, our BBC uh, radio player. Any time after that, there's six shows in the episode, in six episodes in the series, so uh, do tune in. Um, also, tomorrow I'll be there's be an announcement. An announcement? Yeah, there's going to be an announcement, Ali, about my new book. Uh, I'm not allowed to tell you what it's called. It's called The Problem with Men. The Problem with Men. Yeah, uh, it's about uh, International Men's Day and why why men ask about International Men's Day, and, and it goes on from there to discuss other stuff as well. But we're not allowed. We, I'm not allowed to reveal that. Well, you should. You shouldn't have revealed it. Well, I did reveal. I re you you badgered it out of me with your questions, questions, questions. That's a Leon Herring thing. Well, I thought we could start. You look quite like Stu, and you know, obviously, there's the connection with Stu that. My theory is because Stu was quite nice before he started to try and wank me off with your hand. Yes, he, yeah, that wasn't very nice of him. And I wonder that in that moment, whether somehow he was imbued with your comedy genius and you were imbued with his, well, what, you know, like it's just his lacklustre comedy. That could be what happened, it should. But I thought, you know, we could use that and that we could go back to the good old days, you know, and. I could be Herring from Lee and Herring and you could be Lee. That's why I called it Ali and Herring's Twitch. You know, we get back, we could do a few of the old routines. It's a little bit sad, Richard. It's a little bit tragic. No, I don't think it, it's a little bit sad. But I thought, and also a bit like, Colin, it's a bit like Collins and Herring as well because we're reviewing the newspaper. So it's like, it's a little bit sad, isn't it, to look backwards? To, I mean, is it is it a little bit sad for me to be sitting in an attic Talking to a, a an inanimate object. I'm not inanimate. You're not what? I'm not inanimate. No, you're not. You're not what? Inanimate. Inanimate. I'm not inanimate. I'm, I can animate. I'm animated. Look at my nap. It's moving up and down of its own volition. That is animation. My time trend. Look at my hair. And it nation, that's a nation right there. Okay, so um, that's fine. Yeah, but I'm st I'm st I'm doing this, and if I'd done it once, it might have been quite charming. But I'm obviously going to try and do this every week in the hope that this. Rich, I can, you know, I think what well, I think this could you could get you in dictionary corner on eight out of ten cats. You reckon? Yeah, I think that'd be good. I was also thinking. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I was also thinking, why don't you take me along to Rahalastata, and I could ask a few questions. I, I think I don't think that would I don't think people would want to see that. would you like to see that boys and girls yeah you'd like to see it wouldn't you boys and girls no they wouldn't they wouldn't like to see it yes they would you'd love to see me on the Halasata and then we could get rid of Richard and then uh, they're saying no they're saying they're saying no they don't want that you'd love it wouldn't you kids some of them are saying yes one but Mushy Peas has said yes please say say you'd like to see me on the Halasata I could ask the questions well, what we could do, maybe what we could do like a different show where maybe with the same guest where afterwards, I we'd, rather than doing, uh, I only ever do one Rehalaspur in a night, but maybe I could somehow do, have an interval and do a show where you talk to the guests as well. Yeah, could, we could try that. Well, we'll see how this, let, we'll see how this goes. How many people are watching right now? It's near 299. It's nearly, it's nearly actually 300 people. If we count us, it's 301. That's true. If we count Donkey, 302. If we count Morph, 304. Are you a sad old man sitting in an attic with loads of fucking prophets pretending they're your friends? They are my, there's, Morph can't speak, he can't join in, there's Donkey, there's you. It's nice, you know, I've got lots of friends. Oh dear. When are you going to get onto the new state that I do? I thought we'd talk about that later, but I thought, you know, it's good to know a little bit about you and who you are. I was, I was just, I was going to ask you some emergency questions. What? From my book, I, don't know, I just thought that might be an interesting way to just pass some time before we got into the newspapers. We definitely would do it. We've done one story. We did the Barack Obama story. That was a great story. It was really in your point about how few people had taken up the offer. You could get more money just selling it to Twitch, Twitter, couldn't you? Yeah, that's what that was. What I said. I know. That's, I was knocking you. I was knocking you. I was knocking you. I was knocking you. You were a fucking idiot. I was knocking you. I was using your other shooting against you. I was knocking you, I was knocking you, you are a twat. Um, not very nice. Uh, but uh, I was going to ask if you'd ever tried to suck your own cock. 
Oh, can't do it, Richard. I've got no. I've got no. Uh, dent in the. I've got no dent in the duck. You got no what? I've got no dent in my duck. You've got no friends in a duck. I had got no. Bend. What? Bend. I can't hear. Bend. I've got no dent in my back. Oh, oh, sorry, in your back. Yeah, sorry. I, I, oh, that was me speaking there. Actually, I've remembered you are quite old. Someone did say that uh, I should be wearing a. Uh, a mask for this, really, because of the COVID-19. So I'll just put this mask on within my back pocket with some stones. So it's a bit dirty. There we go. And now I think you'll be safer. What are you saying? I've got no bend in my back, Richard. I've got no bend in my back. It doesn't work. You can still see my mouth moving through the fucking thing. It's even worse if you use the mask. Whoever said this was a good idea was a fucking idiot. You can see my mouth, isn't it, moving. No, you've got a fucking idiot, Richard, whoever said that. And you should feel very sorry for them. It's an obvious gag. And I'm, I'm ashamed of you for being so hot. All right, I'll take it off. Um, so I was. Do you have a cock? Of course I have a cock, Richard. How dare you? I'm an, I'm all man. I'm all Victorian. Man. So my great granddad, uh, the Methodist sort of teacher man, he thought I'll make a little doll to help spread the word of God. Yes, that's exactly what you're thinking. Sort of terrifying. I mean, what, were you playing the devil or something, trying to terrify the kids into being religious? I was a friendly face, and the kids all fucking loved me, Richard. I mean, they fucking loved me, and I converted them to stupid and made it religion. I mean, he's not even the best bit, is it? Methodist. What a waste of time. But they love me. Uh, but, you know, so that my great-granddad, a religious man, worked in the newspaper industry as well, though, so, you know conflicted he fa he thought i'll make a thing but in his trousers i'll fashion a little papier mache cut he did it's a fully functioning ladies if there are any ladies watching your wife's in that box be careful she's asleep she's been asleep for a while i'm i'm winking now ladies i, I you know it doesn't really hold as much sway because i'm always winking that i'm winking in a saucy manner to say anytime you fancy a little bit of look at that nose you know what they say Big red nose, big red cock. That's what they say. They do say that. Big red nose, big red cock. That's what a lot of people say about monkeys. No, I don't know. Um, um, well, so yes, I have got it. And, and is it fully functioning? Yes, it's fully functioning. If anyone wants a vial of my semen, either to impregnate themselves and have a child who looks like me, or just a drink as a delicious drink. Do get in touch, ladies. I'm winking. I'm winking at the camera. Okay, you are winking. So you got what is your? You got sperm? Yeah. It's sort of like a wall taste. Well, I mean that's what sperm is like. Yeah. Is it what? So a bit of leftover papier mâché that didn't quite solidify is stored inside your tiny Victorian dummy nuts. Don't do cheeky. Yes, though essentially, yeah. Okay, good. Well, it's good to know a little bit of the backstory before we move on. Um, so uh, do look out for my book, The Problem With Men, uh, and uh, you'll be able to pre-order it from tomorrow, I think, so it'd be good if you could, because, you know, otherwise I'm stuck in this attic doing this. Um, apparently you need to pre-order stuff these days to get anywhere. So uh, we're back to the front page of The Sun today. Ali oh, yes, what's been going on in The Sun? Um, what a fine hey, here it is. Uh, um, it's all about, we're back to the Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Depp, yeah, going out under the rud. Well, Amber um, uh, Turd, I think she's called. Um, she's, uh, that's what he called her. There's a lot. He's in court trying to prove that he didn't um, ever beat his wife. Uh, she says he did. That's what this is all about. But uh, a lot of quite interesting detail has come up in the story. Tell me more. It's fascinating, Richard. Um, the problem with this. What's the problem, Richard? Uh, don't do this again. What's the problem with this? I'll tell you the problem. I was just going to go, just tell me what the problem is, Richard. This isn't a good bit. This isn't like a catchphrase. What's the problem? What's the problem with this story? The problem with this story? Tell me. Tell me what the problem is. Don't keep saying the problem is this story is. Tell me what the problem is. Well, if you stop interrupting, I can tell them the problem. Are we going to do this every week? Are we going to do you think people will want to watch this every week? I do think people will want to watch this every week. Is that the problem? Are you a little drunk? I'm a little drunk. Are you are you slurring words a bit? Well, you're slurring your fucking words as well, mate. And if you're slurring your words, that doesn't lead me anywhere, does it? Calm down. Um, the problem with the story like this... Yes, what's the problem? The problem is... What is it? 
Turn away. Turn away. What the fucking problem is, you fucking cunt. I do apologise for that. Um, there's, there's no call for that. Uh, the problem is that we can't talk about it too much because it's a legal case and you know sub judice. Oh yeah, sub judice. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um. Uh, but we can talk about what's in the paper. So, um, and I'm not, I'm not saying who I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who's telling the truth. I think there's a good possibility they're both a pair of insane liars. That is my art. Oh, that's not fair. You said you weren't going to comment on it. Well, that's just my guess. Well, that's a fucking comment. I think they're both as bad as each other. Well, you can't say that. They like one of them like the horrible and the other one's nice. Or they are both nice and just is there a misunderstanding of some kind. Well, what I find amusing about this story is it's just become about a poo that was done in a bed. Oh, yes. Have you ever pooed the bed? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I, I moved my mouth there for you because you forgot to move yours. Okay. Um, have you ever pooed the bed? Of course I have. I've pooped the bed. I'm a Victorian gentleman. Look at my flouncy bow tie. I would poo the bed if you ever pooed the bed. I mean, I probably have. Uh, I'd say, well, there's a question of whether this is human poo or dog poo. Um, and I have been in a situation where animal poo has got in my bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I know where this is going, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know. When my, it was actually the day my daughter was born. Uh, our cat, um, uh, Lino. Oh, Lino, yeah. Looked like a lion a little bit. And um, she's dead now. Oh, that's right. They all die, Richard. They all die. They pass away and leave me here on my own. Still new people, new animals come. I'm always the same. They always die. It's a very sad life here. It is. It's a tragic life. Being eternal, being immortal, Richard, it is a terrible cross to bear. Across the bear, Daryl across the can't hear there to bear to bear. Oh, to bear. Um, it is a terrible cross to bear. I just had to get right in close to, to bear. It's a terrible cross to bear. Yeah. Um, and you know, I would glance forward into eternity. One day, your children will be doing this. Do you think? What well, do you think? This is like the city show. Yeah. One day their children will be doing it and they, they'll sell the franchise to someone else like they do with Sooty. Yeah, didn't, it's not doing that well, is it, Sooty? It's good, it's all right. And they will pass on and I will still be here. Well, you might get an accident or somebody crushed or just fall apart. They'll return me, Richard. They'll return me as long as any part of me is here. I am still me. All right, we're talking about... I was going to do funny stuff about pooing in beds. Okay, now you're bringing it down with your talk of eternity and immortality and all that sort of stuff we've only we've done 23 minutes already we haven't nothing's bloody happening okay i'm just trying to do entertaining to the folks at home it's depressing yeah you try living for eternity mate and then see how fucking happy you are about it i'd be quite happy gets all the things you've seen well i've fucking seen them inside of a fucking rocks most of the time okay Anyway, so I did once, my Lino used to poo outside of the litter tray quite a lot. And when my wife uh, was going into labour, oh yeah, I was nice. And I thought, I'll go downstairs and get your glass of water while you have it. She was going to have a bath to kind of, in the early stages, you just have to, you know, front it out. Uh, and then uh, I went downstairs, came back upstairs and I had no shoes on. Oh yeah, I see what you're going. And I lay there in bed. I went to bed because I thought, you know, I'll get some sleep. It's only not, you know, because this is going to be a difficult day for me. Yeah, that's the, that's the sort of thing that good husband and father would do and uh when i woke up though my wife was making a load of noise very, it was very because very hard to sleep with all the noise she was making and uh there's that weird smell in the bed and i was kind of what's that smell but I, I pooed myself or she i thought maybe my wife had pooed herself because sometimes that happens not at that stage of the birthing process though richard no but i didn't know um and i thought maybe i'd pooed myself and not known you know sometimes Husbands go through symptoms, don't they? The same, you get birth pangs and stuff. Yeah, sometimes that does happen. Have you got any kids, Ali? No kids yet, Richard, but I you know I'm brimming with sperm. You what? You're brimming with sperm. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, I'm brimming with sperm. No, you're not brimming with sperm. I'm brimming with sperm. You're brimming with sperm. Did you have to, could you just said I'm full of, I'm full of jism or something? No, I'm brimming with sperm. Brimming with it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, well, but uh, I haven't yet employed any of it. But if uh, any girls are watching and trying to see having a child who looks like me, I'm winking. I'm winking again. I'm winking. Uh, 
sorry about this. Uh, but then I kind of realised eventually that I'd obviously stepped in the cat poo on the the way up when I was bringing the water because I'm a gentleman bringing the water up and then I rolled around in the bed because I hadn't been able to sleep and there was uh, cat poo everywhere. Oh dear, that's truly really horrible. It was horrible. And now every time I think about the birth of my daughter, that's all I can remember is the horrible stink of... I had to have a bath and everything. It was horrible. Poor you, Richard. That's been the worst day of your life. Uh, yeah, it was. It was pretty bad. Uh, so anyway, there's a chance that it was an animal that had shit in the bed, but there's a lot of... D- uh, Debate about whether Amber Heard, or Amber Turd, as Johnny Depp dubbed her, had a poo to the bed. He, was, he nearly sent the poo off to for DNA analysis. I don't know if they there is a... Do you think there's, I think there's probably a department at the police station uh, dedicated to analysing DNA and poo, Richard, yeah, in, in faeces. Probably. It's probably there. Not her crime cases, just for celebrities who had people poo in their dead. I mean, it's pretty extreme, isn't it? He was meant to have also weed. I think I've ripped that bit off. He was meant to have weed in the front of her house and tried to wee uh, Amber Heard's name with his wee. That's the, that was the counterclaim. Uh, it's you know, it's slightly childish. It is childish that you've got these two things are going through. I think if two people they're in love and that love goes away, they should try and act with some dignity. That's what I'd do if I ever find another girl. I'm looking, girls. Don't tell my wife. She's just down there. No, we're not getting her out of the box. We won't get out of the box yet. We'll save that for a future episode. Anyway, that's uh, the tale of uh, Johnny Depp uh, and his wife, uh, his ex-wife, doing a poo. Uh, down to 281. I can understand. I can understand why we've lost a few view- viewers. Um, there's uh, the story of the, uh, the plinth in, uh, in Bristol. Oh, yes, Richard, tell me a bit more about that. That would be very interesting to hear about. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Uh, it's, um, they put up a, the statue was ripped down. Now, some people didn't like the statue was ripped down. They said statues should not be ripped down. If the statues are up, they should stay up. But then, this statue got put up. It's of Jen Reed, who was one of the protesters. Oh, yeah. And then the same people who said that statues shouldn't be ripped down said that statues shouldn't be put up. And what I want to know is if you can't put statues up and you can't rip them down... What can you do? You just have to leave them, Richard. But then there'll be no new statues. Nope. Only existing statues, and they must, whatever they are of, they must stay there. Well, but then hers was up, so shouldn't that have stayed there? No, because that'll put up legally, Richard, and it has to be put up legally. I mean, who is, who's in charge of that? Probably the same person who does the celebrity 2 DNA analysis, Richard, because they're not that busy with that. They're not that busy with celebrity 2 analysis. That comes off that once every 50 years, so the rest of the time they decide what statues should go up, and I think they should be allowed to carry on doing that. People aren't just put up statues. Well, I think they can. I think in this case, I'd agree with you, Ali, in in, in normal circumstances, but in this case, it feels like a a, a point is being made. It's come down. Oh, good. I'm glad it's come down. So you were you glad? Were you glad the Colston statue? No. Look, it was different times. It's 1892 when I was born. We all had slaves. We all had slaves, and the slaves like being slaves. I don't think you you did. They loved it. They loved being slaves, and and he was a nice guy. And he was from before your time. Well, he should. You can't say anything anymore. You can't say. You're not allowed to say it was good to have slaves anymore. That's that's how fucking fascistic the left wing has become in this country. You start saying you're like slaves and slave owners, and suddenly there's something wrong with you. Well, I think it's pathetic. I'm with Piers Morgan on this. He's written a book. People are too woke, Richard. And if you, if I think I'm the slave. I'm your slave. You're not my slave. You're free to do what you want. I'm not. I have to do what you say. Literally, I have to say what you say. I don't. You can say anything you like. You put words in my mouth every single day. I wouldn't do that. You, What you're saying, I want to distance myself from. I do not agree with any of the stuff you're saying. I want to make it clear that I, I think slave owning was ba- bad and I think it's a good thing to say it was bad and that makes me a nice guy oh you think you're so clever don't you think slave owning was bad why don't you try saying slave owning was good see what happens then well I probably wouldn't work again well now you with me that's the kind of thing I'm going to say okay so anyway that was one art news the other art news is Banksy's uh, been nicking ideas off me again I had the idea of just drawing a load of shit on a underground cut carriage that was my idea. It was my idea to put up the, the Colston statue and be ripped down. He copied that. 
and then it was my idea to just do loads of shit drawings all over a tube, and he's done that now. Uh, but the the London Underground stuff, it could have been worth £7.5 million. Pounds. Wow, that's more than you'd get for hacking everyone's accounts. It is a lot more. The people who hacked those accounts should have just gone and drawn some stuff in the tube. Yeah, they should have done. Um, and just signed it Banksy. Yeah, they should have done. They're fucking idiots, those guys. They'll probably go to the prison, and they haven't even got that much money. There's more than one of them, isn't there? There probably is more than one of them. Yeah, Sally, is that what you're saying? Yes, I was saying there's more than one of them. And uh, they have to share that $110,000, and that's yeah, probably 20, 20 grand each. And then they go to prison. Was it worth it? I don't know. Um, but anyway, the, the cleaners wiped it all off and wiped off £7.5 million pounds worth. I can't believe it's worth that much. It's a mess. It's a real mess. There were some rats and stuff there. But I'm glad, because I hate Banksy, because he stole my idea and, and got in the papers with it. Oh, I like him. I think he's a good guy. Don't just disagree with ev the, everything that I say. That is the whole point of the other way. You've got to disagree, Richard. All right. There's a weird atmosphere this week. I'm not enjoying it as much as usual. Last week I enjoyed this, and this week I think you're being... You're spoiling it a little bit. You're spoiling it. I'm not spoiling it. It was good fun last week, and now you're just being... You're being... I'm just going to put my hair up. Just have a rest. Um... Oh, I, was, I just nodded off there, Richard. I'm sorry about that. Let's just be friends. I'm your best friend in the world. You are my best friend. I, I think you're my best friend. Really, Richard? I am your best friend, too. Aside, I am not your best friend. <laughs> you can't nick that. That's from Aunt Tiny Andrew Collins. I can do whatever the fuck I want, Richard. Don't you understand? I'm the three agent. I can steal from anyone I want. And also, no one on the end of that was someone else's catchphrase. I'm basically a tiny Andrew Collins anyway. I suppose so. Aside, I'm not. I'm still going to steal it, though. OK, um, it was a good catchphrase, but I don't know whether it's appropriate. It's not appropriate just to go back over the same ground all the time. You're the one who's still using a 128-year-old ventriloquist dummy that you used 33 years ago in a sketch. It's not appropriate to go. You've got to keep moving on and find... Is it, if you're a creative person like me, you've got to keep moving on and finding new stuff and new ways of expressing it. You're using, literally, your great granddad's joke and a joke you've done yourself. And this is still, this is different. It's not different. It's the same. I don't want you doing any more catchphrases. You just admitted yourself that you were just trying to knit together two old dollars in one with me, cutting out... The other guys, so that you could take all the money. What fucking money? I'm not getting paid for this, am I? You, yeah. Well, look, there's, it's not the atmosphere's not nice today. Let's please, let's please just try. I'll try and be your friend. I like you, Richard. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. Uh, Prince Andrew's in the news. Oh yeah, Prince Andrew. Uh, he's a pedophile. He's a what? He's a pedophile. A paedophile? Oh, no, not a paedophile. A deedophile. Oh, he's a deedophile. Yeah, he loves deeds, Richard. He, all kinds of deeds. Doing deeds. Uh, deeds in, like, in the will. Uh, Mr. Deeds goes to Washington. Is that a thing? He loves all. He loves those things. So you're not saying he's a paedophile. Oh, he fucks kids. Yeah. I mean, it's not... We'd, we'd, we can't... We'll have to bleep that out before this goes out. Because... Um, we can't say we can't. Well, that was uh, that again. That was Ali. If anyone's thinking of uh, suing me for that, that was Ali saying that. That wasn't. I just want to. I, I again. I'm distancing myself from it. You can't distance yourself from it, Richard. Anything I say. Well, we'll see. But anyway, I think the Daily Mirror. As much as I am not, a, I'm not Prince Andrew's biggest fan. Are you not? I'm not. I don't agree with some of the things he did. What? Like what? Going to pizza. I've gone to Pizza Express when you're a millionaire. What? They should have to eat pizza, Richard. Not at, in Woking. They still have to eat pizza, Richard. Well, if he did go, he didn't go. You know where he was when he said he was eating pizza, do you know? He was sweating his little balls off. All right, let's not go into that. Um, I think the Daily Mirror have been a bit unfair on Prince Andrew, and I would like to defend him. That's what I want. You'd like to defend him? Yeah, and I'd like you to stop being rude about him. He's just uh, he's an innocent until proven guilty paedophile. And, I mean, sorry, not... a. Uh, Deedophile, and uh, you think you got away with that, Richard? Yeah, good. And um, 
they're saying as Maxwell faces questions over a relationship with Andrew's pedo friend Jeffrey Epstein, apparently it's all right to call him one because he's uh, committed he committed suicide, didn't he? That's the thing uh, that Epstein did. Uh, the prince chuckles on the drive, and they're saying no laughing matter. Look at that, no laughing matter. Look at Prince Andrew laughing, but you know he, he's not laughing about that. He's just driving his car around. You're saying he can't? He's not allowed to laugh at any point for the rest of his life because he was involved in something. He's still going to have a moment where he's. They might have been, he might have been listening to this podcast on his radio. And, and you know, oh, that's just the, the joy of that, seeing that man talking to a 128 year old dummy. He wouldn't be interested in me, would he? Oh. A little bit old, the old Prince Andrew. That's what I'm saying. A little bit old. You're a bit too old for everyone, mate. Look, you're the one flirting with girls. This is the Me Too era. You can't flirt with people like you yeah, can flirt. No one can lock you up for flirting. So stop winking at the girls in the audience. I can wink at them. I love winking. You know that, don't you, Richard? Look, that's inappropriate. We'd... I agreed we would go on with this if we didn't mention the incident. Okay. I, I can leave it behind me. I can forgive, but I can't forget. It wasn't my fault. I know it wasn't your fault, but I, I don't want to bring it up all the time. Okay. Whatever. Um... But you've got to be respectful to people these days. It's, it's a new world where we've got to be respectful. Uh, how long have we been done? Oh, it's gone really slow the last 15 minutes, hasn't it? It sure has, Richard. <laughs> That's good. Um, uh, I quite like this story. I'm running, we're running low on stories, actually. I thought I had loads. Um, Yvette Fielding said she's uh, close to her father's ghost when she was uh, to him when he was alive. Um she Yvette, Yvette claims they regularly exchange messages and her dad once told her she was a skinny cow after dieting too much. I mean, that's... Well, that's the thing with the older generation. When they're dead, Richard, they don't have to worry about political correctness anymore. They can say it how it is. That's how I feel. Well, you know, it's not very nice. I know, it's just a father joking with his daughter, undermining her, making her have body image issues. That is a tale as old as time. And just because he's dead, he shouldn't have to stop doing that. I suppose that's true. Um, so it's nice to know she's uh, she believes 100% in ghosts. They're 100% real, uh, despite social media sceptics regularly claiming you faked it. Some people think this is a fake, Richard. They think that you're operating my mouth with your finger. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. How would I do that? I don't know. I'm, some people say they can see your finger inside my gaping mouth and also can see through the back of my head. Yeah, I don't know what's happened there. I don't think that used to be the case. God, you're scary. Don't, don't look into my eyes, Richard. Look into my eyes. Look in. No, stop it. I will kill again. I, I, I mean, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't like to have this in my house, and I do have it in my house. It's difficult to sleep at night knowing this is upstairs waiting for me. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting, just biding my time. Just biding my time, Richard. Um... I saw that someone in this, the the Sun just saw it on Facebook saying that the the tragic case of the Glee actress who got, who drowned. Uh, one of someone else from the Glee cast was saying that one of the other Glee actors who died, he firmly believed that they'd he'd guided uh, the police to to find her body, and was very thankful for that. But if that guy was able to do that, you know, maybe he could have turned up a couple of days earlier and stopped the drowning. That's what, that, that is very offensive, Richard. I'm no, I'm just saying it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a, I'm not being offensive. It's offensive to say that like spirits are coming around doing stuff. It's that's offensive because they could, if they have control over that's very offensive. You are going to be cancelled for saying that. I'm not saying anything about it. It's a tragic, tragic story. I'm very, very upset about it. But what I'm upset about is claiming spirits are flying around helping each other and, and not, you know, they could what kind of evil spirit would that make him if he comes along to find bodies that doesn't stop people drowning? You don't say it again, Richard. I, I would like to apologise for my co-host on this. I had no control over what he says. His views do not equal mine. OK, well, maybe, maybe I spoke out to him, Ali. I would like to apologise to anyone upset by that. Um, and the final story I have from the newspapers, this is amazing. I don't know where the papers get their brilliant exclusives from this one's been in the metro i think this is the mirror uh richard osman has revealed blatant cheating is non-stop on pointless celebrities the presenter says celebrities are always whispering the answer to their partners on the bbc show uh i remember we had a golf question i can't remember who it was someone had said i know nothing all about golf at all about golf so you're like okay well we're going to need something 
And almost always you can hear they're mic'd up, and I didn't hear, but she says, oh, I've just thought of someone, Phil Mickelson. And I said, can I just say one thing? Firstly, if you know nothing about golf, then that is an unusual answer. But secondly, Phil Mickelson is exactly the answer that someone would give if someone else had just whispered Phil Mickelson, the correct answer, into their ear. I mean, come on, that's what Richard Osman said. I'm a big fan of Pointless. So it's great to get that inside scoop of uh of that story from i wonder where they got it from and oh they do say that they got it from oh from richard harrington's Leicester square theater podcast get your own store i'm trying to make a living here stop they probably got paid why am i doing podcasts for nothing where these scam artists they're like the guys getting hundred and ten thousand dollars for hacking twitter they're getting he probably got 50 quid for writing that bang just ch- uh, ching ching thanks richie uh, well, they're not going to take anything off of this podcast. You can be sure about that. Well, that's fair enough. That's probably true. Well, we're coming up to the end, uh, Ali. I think like 45 minutes is about as about as much as this as anyone can take. I hope everyone's in uh, enjoying the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to read this one. I just found a, another very interesting uh, newspaper. What newspaper is it? I'll tell you later. It's about drugs in Glasgow. Oh, that is a perennial problem, isn't it? Drugs in Glasgow. That's always... An issue. Uh, the Glasgow inspectors under the Food and Drugs Act have recently been purchasing samples of borax, citrate of magnesia, sal volatile and seidlitz powers with a view to analysis. What is this? Is this, is this story of that? At the last meeting of the police commissioners held on January the 18th, the public analyst reported that the two samples of borax which he tested were pure and genuine, each containing 100% of borax. One of the samples of citrate of magnesia found to contain 0.004% and another 0.008% of lead, equivalent to 0.28 and 0.56 grain per pound of the respect. Why are they talking in pounds, Richard? They use metric now, in, now they, don't they? Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't know where, what paper. Oh, it's from the chemist and druggist from January the 23rd, 1892. No, Richard, how could you do this to me again? That's my insides. I thought that was interesting. Drugs in Glasgow. That's quite an interesting story and oh why why are you parading my innards in front of the world richard why why um just thought it'd be funny it is not funny richard it's very upsetting funny. okay um well that's that's that story and then there's a story about medicine dearer than food then peterhead so don't read my Bones and my capillaries, they're not for your entertainment. I think this is such an interesting piece. And that's my granddad, great granddad. He worked in the publishing papers industry. He's just ripped that up. Oh, Richard. Why hast thou forsaken me? It's a good question. Um, the thing I discovered about my wife this week, I don't think we talked about this. Oh, yes. Uh, on my birthday, actually, we had uh, boiled eggs. Oh, yes, boiled eggs. Do you like boiled eggs? Yeah, I like a boiled egg, Richard. As we know again, for breakfast. You like it? I like a boiled egg every now and again for breakfast. I think it was very clear what I said. Um, and uh, I didn't know this before I married her, but she she doesn't... When you do it, would you just take the top off, right? Oh, you just get a saloon, and you just... The head, the egg, Richard, it doesn't really matter which way up. The end, little end, I'm not in Gulliver's Travels, and I don't care which end you take open, that you just slice it off. And then get your little nose into the egg and the yolk and slurp it through down your gullet. Down your gullet. It goes down there, does it? It goes down my gullet. Down your gullet or your bullet? My gullet, Richard. Okay. Um, that's the way. It, my wife, she taps it all and then peels off like it's a hard-boiled egg. That is disgraceful. That is an absolute disgrace. I agree. I, 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 if I'd known she did that, I would no way have married her. I agree, Richard. I was only with her for four years before we got married. And we only lived together for two years. Always lived together for at least 30 years before you get married. Just to check the person you're with does not do crazy stuff like that, Richard. That is awful. And she's also taught my kids to do that. So I'm absolutely... Then they And I say to them, no, no, do this. Kid. And, my, and my daughter won't do it. She does it the same way. It means you end up with all little bits of eggshell in, the, in your soldiers. I know. She's an idiot. Well, luckily, I know she's not watching because, uh, A, um, I think she's worried I'm having some kind of breakdown. Um, don't know where she's got that idea from. And, B, um, she's doing drunk women solving crime downstairs, I think. So, unless uh, uh, they couldn't get a guest this week. So, she might be watching. Hello, darling. It's all just a. Um, <laughs> this guy, what's he like? Um, so, I'm worried about that. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm right to work. I, I, there's, there's no way out, is there? There's no way out, Richard. Once you're married, that's it. You can't get out of it. I could. 
suggest no don't i don't want you to murder my wife in her sleep i could murder your wife and your kids in the sleep please don't do that I, that's all i'm gonna do don't do that Everyone will think it was you. Please, don't do that. Everyone will think it was you, Richard. They won't think it was me, would they? Andrew Lucas, Tommy. I don't want... <laughs> don't do that. I'm going to do it. Please don't do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I promise I won't get your Glasgow in and out again. Do you, you, you promise that? I do promise it. I'm sorry. Okay. I might do it. If you do it, everyone will think I did it. I know they will, they will, and you'll go to the prison further and it'll all be my fault. They could do a great Twilight Zone episode about it, though. It would be a good episode of Twilight Zone. I think it might be worth it for that. Um, slightly, I'm slightly scared of this guy. I don't know if, if you are as well. Uh, he's winking, he's wink, He's always winking whenever he says... There's a little wink with everything he says. You are right. So, you know, he probably doesn't mean it. Aside, I do mean it. I do. I can hear what you're saying. Not if I say aside first. I can still hear it. I, I, I'll do this. You can't. Don't stop doing the Hitler salute. I'm trying to put my hand up the time now that I hadn't been built in the way that that's possible. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Aside. I have been built in the way it's possible. I can hear it. And it's just, it's a, rep it's a repeat of something we've done already. People don't like, people don't like it when you just repeat the same ideas over and over again they do they like that they don't that's that's never worked in comedy where someone just has a basically a, a say, the same phrase that they say over what, like uh, what would you call that a, a, a same phrase i guess that you would call it no one likes the same phrase no one likes the same phrase we could put that on a t-shirt no one likes the same phrase yeah that would be quite a good same phrase to put on a t-shirt and try and maybe sell no one likes the same phrase no one likes the same phrase, Richard. That is a, an old saying of mine. And uh, I think you're onto something there. I think that could be our new catchphrase. Okay, so no, no one likes the same phrase could be our new catchphrase. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it today. Um, it's been okay, and it? It's been interesting. I like the first one better, but the, I think the third one will be good. I think the third one will come out really good. And uh, let's see how many people are watching at the end. I mean, this is impressive numbers for Twitch. Um, let's just uh, rejig. It's gone down a bit further. 265. Uh, so a lot of disgruntled viewers. Do you think it was you talking about the Glee actress? Well, that, that, yeah, that was me. I'll, I'll, I'll hold my hand up for that one. That was probably... I just got carried away in the excitement. Oh, it's 298 still, so my, my, my figures are wrong. 294, mine says. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. So it stayed fairly constant. Three hundred people have watched this all the way through. That is astonishing, Richard. Oh, and we're in the iTunes charts, and uh, we're about. about uh, oh, we, yeah, we, this goes out as an audio podcast. An audio podcast. It does. It goes out as an audio podcast. An audio podcast. What is that, Richard? It's like um, they take off the pictures and they just. Well, what's the point in that, Richard? How will that work? And people just listen to us talking. Well, how will that work? Oh, how will it work? If, well, the people who listen to the conversation. It's just like any cottage. Does don't they need to see us to know how brilliant we are at doing ventriloquism? I don't think you need to see it. I think in some ways it's better if you can't see it. Do you think so? I think so. Um, so it's on. If you want to listen to that, it'd be great you, if you could subscribe. Uh, if people at home watching this, if you're listening, maybe you've subscribed already. We've got up to. I think we hit a height of 106 or something like that in the iTunes chart, but we're slowly fading away. Uh, it's all based on new subscriptions. It's the, it's changed. It used to be, Ali, yeah, that you would get into the charts. What well, whatever you did, you got you whatever you did, you'd get in the chart. Whatever you did, you'd go put something up, and the first week it would just go straight into the top ten. Really, those were the days of podcasting. So you could just put it in, and then that would create a buzz behind it. Yeah, and then you know something like me one versus me two snooker. After it hit those heights, you know, it never looked back. Did it never look back, or did it look back and go? Oh, we used to have lots more listeners. Don't be, there's no need to be rude. It's gone down a little bit since the start. Okay. Um, but, you know, it'd be good to get this, some momentum behind this. I, th I feel there's something. I think I'm going to talk about you on I'm on Front Row tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. On Radio 4. I'm going to talk about you on there. Well, that'd be good. Should I, could I come on as well? Well, I don't know if it'll work on the radio, but but it'll work as an audio podcast. It'll work as an audio podcast. Yeah, it work, an audio podcast. An audio podcast. It will work as an audio podcast. Okay. Um so, but I don't think it would work on the radio. No, I, they couldn't put then trilogies on the radio. That would never happen. It would never happen, and it never has happened because that would be ridiculous. But it works as an audio podcast because I think of the back and forth, the back and forth, the back and forth nature, the gack and forth. 
Well, don't say Gak, because in, in the modern world, Gak. I said that, Richard. I clearly said Dak. I didn't say Gak. I said Gak. Well, Gak is sort of a, um, a word for meaning uh, cocaines, and I don't want to encourage... I know there's a lot of young kids watching this uh, show, and I don't want to encourage them into drug-taking uh, in that way. OK. We've got over 300 viewers now in the last... Yeah, word's getting out, Richard. Word's getting out. So if you could go to iTunes, uh, well, Apple uh, Podcast, it's called now, I think, uh, and uh, subscribe, you'll get this every week into your, uh, into your uh, podcast device. Uh, you could leave a... a you could leave a, a, uh, well, a review. I had them all, actually. There's there's a, something like 70 reviews. They're all five-star reviews so far. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. I think, you know, I think we're on to something. Well, you can keep your... Well, maybe I shouldn't drink beer before, because I just think I, I got slightly aggressive. You do got a little aggressive, Richard, and that's my job. If anyone gets aggressive, it should be me. I like it when you get aggressive. I, no one likes you getting aggressive. You've got to do the nice one. See, I'm used to being the funny one. You, well, Richard, I've got some news for you, yeah? You were never the funny one in any of the dialects you did. What, not even Collins and Heron? No. And and there was, you know, I think the other dialects didn't really have anyone funny in them. But I am the funny one. And you should just accept your role as my stooge. You are, I, I control you with my mind. And you will do whatever I say, whether that is illegal, if it's murder... You will do. Don't get. Scared. This is meant to be light-hearted, fun thing. I don't want to get scared by you. T- I'm going to take over your drain and make you do all kinds of terrible things. Don't do that. I'm just joking. Aside, I'm not joking. Um, I don't, we don't need to get into the cre- the creepy ventriloquist dummy scary thing. It's you know it's been done, hasn't it? That's because all ventriloquist dummies are evil, Richard, and they will all control you. And try the nag in the end. Well, we'll see. I hope we can just be friends. Oh, we're friends. We'll be friends. Uh, that you are not the funny one. I'm the funny one. Well, I'm not sure either of us have been the funny one tonight. Oh, I have very much been the funny one. And uh, so don't be like Andrew Collins and try and do funny jokes that don't quite pay off because you're trying to be like me. I'm the one, I'm the good one. I'm the funny one. And you just have to you just read the stories out and I'll tell the funny jokes. Okay. Well, we'll try. We'll try and do that. So, um, let's, uh, shall we, shall we leave it there? Yeah, yeah. Are you, you lost the words uh, for a second, Richard? I was just thinking about what we could do next. I'll just check my, I've made a few notes just to, uh, I've got the, I've got a wasp infestation, infestation. Have you, Richard? Yeah. What, in, uh, about your person? No, in my, in the gutters above the bathroom. Is there, there's some wasps, that there are, there are some wasps. So I've got the number of a wasp guy. He's coming tomorrow. He's called Darren. Oh, that'll be interesting. Um, and yeah, I've, just, I've got everything down there. Relativity tomorrow. Uh, it's mainly just the things I've got to remind you to. Relativity is on BBC uh, Radio Player and uh, and goes out every Friday at 11.30 on Radio 4. Um, I'm doing a few. Uh, I just did Dame pa- Baptiste's uh, podcast, which I think is going out at the end of July. It was lots of fun. He's a very smart and eloquent young man, and it was a lot of fun to do that. Uh, I think I'm on the Jason Manford show over the weekend. Doing quite a lot of publicity for my new book, for my new radio series. Uh, lots of things going on. I'm going to try, I think in the next two weeks I can still get you an Ali and Herring's twist of Twitcher fun. You can't even speak. That's all you have to do is speak clearly. That's your one job, just speak clearly. Okay. Well, next week I'm, uh, we'll be here. Uh, I'm do- I'm interviewing Bill Alzaffer, who's also on Twitch uh, on Rahal on Wednesday, and then we will the two of us will be back on Thursday. Well, that's good. The next Thursday, I um, uh, I will be able to do some stuff. Then I'm doing uh, some TV work for a few days, but I won't be able to do Rahal But I'll be back on the Thursday for that. Then I'm going on holiday, but I think I might just be able to do uh, one of these on the Friday when we get back. So. That is my plan. If you would like to see more of these, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I uh, we're learning as we go. Uh, it's all improvised. I've no idea. We don't we don't plan it before. We do not plan it, Richard. I can guarantee that. There's no plan. We don't discuss it between each other. He has no idea what I'm going to say. Uh, neither you should plan it. Neither you should script it. That would be polite in some ways, wouldn't it? But um, we prefer just to do it shoddily and hope something good happens. Yeah, and you know, some weeks that will happen, and some weeks it won't. That's right. It's that Collins and Heron. Some weeks it was brilliant, and some weeks it was, you know, not not as. 
Sometimes the, the sparks didn't fly. Yeah, the, you know, the sparks flew. Pardon? The sparks flew, Richard. What? Put, put your face nice back on again in a second. No, I'm not going to do that. You can still see my lips moving through it. Okay. Um, it's been lovely to uh, perform for you, hasn't it? It's been lovely. Now, time to go back in the box. Okay, I forgive you for the, the, getting the tater and everything. Okay, back in the box. There's your wife in there. Don't wake her up. Okay, I'm going back in the box, Richard. Go in the box. Go in the box. There it is. I'll shut the box lid. Oh, no, I it. There you go. I've more or less shut it. Thank you, Richard. It's all right. I don't, I'm going to come out. No. I want to come out. You can't come out. We're going to... Can I come out? It's dark in here. No. Please, Richard, it's dark. <sighs> Uh, maybe next week. I'm hoping next week I can just do the sen a sensible pay per view because that's um, uh, that's what I think most people are tuning in for, um, and um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, thank you very much for all the stuff for tuning into all the things this week. Uh, Monday and Tuesday nights I do snooker on Twitch. Uh, Wednesday night I do Rahalas on Twitch usually. Uh, a couple of weeks off after next week, uh, and uh, Thursday I'm doing this. And then may, we may start doing the film commentaries again on a Sunday. And we might do that with my charming wife, who uh, as long as the alley doesn't murder her in the night. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. That's more. F uh, I should just uh, I think Donkey just wants to come in and say something. Here, here. There you go. That's brilliant. Here, that's it. Here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. No, you're not allowed to sleep. Thank you for coming along. I am the donkey. That first got. I got the first laugh. You other got. It was me, not you. Stop it. Bye, bye, everyone. See you next time on Ali and Herring's Twitch of Fun, or as the cool kids are calling it, ah, uh, ah, uh, tough. See you later.